The other thing, game that uh, we watched last night was uh, Pittsburgh and uh, Montreal. Montreal won. Me- uh, yeah, boy, uh, Scott Mellenby. Uh, now, tell us the story about Scott Mellenby resigning as uh, assistant general GM. manager. What well, the ru- this was this is the rumor that was going around is that they Montreal's told Bergevin that he's not going to be back. Oh, is as, that right? As a GM, and they are talking to the guy from um, I forget his name who uh, was the GM of. Um, New York Rangers, who wrote that letter, was all upset when Tom Wilson threw the guy down. So they, they're getting him, and uh, and they told Scott that you know they weren't you know they were making a change in their department, and uh, he wasn't going to be part of it. And um, so he resigned. That that's the rumor. So, you Dad, know? can I ask you? Do you think that the GM of or any assistant in that organization has to speak French? Yes. Really? I, oh, I do. I, I, well, I don't re- think Scott spoke speaks. Uh, Doesn't sound French. like it, does it? But he, he, where he was, I don't know. We we'll have, we'll have to find out where he was born in that. But uh, yeah, I I really do. I I mean, in Montreal, that's the way it's going. It's uh, I hate to. Well, say you have it. two press, and one speaks French, and one speaks English, yeah. and then Bergeron's oh, pretty good. Yeah, and you know, so the question is, I don't think he's going. Well, that was that was well the way it was. Yeah, I know that's a rumor, but I don't think he's going. You know what I think? You know what I think? That if I was if I was a Montreal Canadiens, what I would do is I would write this year off. I mean, really. I mean, they're not going to make the playoffs. Let's forget it. And uh, next year they'll have Weber back. He'll be playing. He better be playing. Price will have this. He knows. Price knows he's got to smarten up and, and play the way he can play. And everybody be ready to go for next year. I think they're going to write the... I don't know. It's well, they'll get to miss say. the playoffs, and well, they're they going to They get in the lottery, and they get first pick, and they get Shane Wright. And no, they'll... they won't get. Arizona's got that all wrapped. And the Montreal game, um, they did win. They beat Pittsburgh. They had fifty shots. Allen was in the net. Fifty shots. Um, at Pittsburgh should have won the game, but uh, let's face it. Um, it looks like they they got down at Toffoli, uh, Tyler Toffoli, Christian Dvorak. And Josh Anderson said they were plus four. Now that's pretty good. I, that's about the highest plus that, that I that I remember. I get all mm-hmm. the stats and everything. That, and that, something happened last night, Cindy. You don't see very often. A goal was counted and the puck didn't cross the goal line. Yeah, tell tell us about that. Well, then. Josh Anderson had a breakaway on an open yeah, net, see, yeah. and it got tripped, so it would have been a penalty shot. Yeah. And if it's a penalty shot with the goalie out, they just it's an automatic goal. Oh, I didn't know that. I think there's like. Somebody said there's two, I can't remember, but there's two ways a goal can be scored without the puck crossing the goal line. I that's see guys throw their stick. Yeah, if a guy throws their stick on an open net, that's that's another one. Yeah, but I, I see guys throw their sticks. What do they got to lose? If one guy can score to Anderson, I, I like him to score because he's a good guy. And Canadians, this is my final day on him, uh, Canadians this year, or I should say this year. Is that they're gonna? They, they, I wouldn't fi- fire anybody. I would keep Bergeron. I would see how they do at the start of the year, and because uh, right this year off, because you're not gonna make it the playoffs anyhow.